I found that the pace was not slower, but it changed. I think a lot of people seem to think that in-house is an easy ride. Um, it definitely isn't because you've got a lot more questions to answer. Mm. And especially in my role, I was responsible for building the SEO team and obviously taking the brand from an unknown brand to what it is today. So an award winning brand that partners with not just airlines, but obviously with different brands and things like that. Mm -hmm. um, and really helping to kind of build the brand and build the team. You know, it was an exciting challenge to be able to do that. And I'm really, really grateful for the opportunity that the team gave me, a fantastic team, and they continue to go from strength to strength. And they've actually just gone through a rebrand. Um, oh, wow, cool. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so it's a um, fantastic, fantastic company. But yeah, it was it was really, really interesting because agency side, I learned a lot. When I worked for the smaller agency between iCrossing and in-house, I did a lot more kind of general digital marketing mm -hmm. um, and it really helped me get my teeth into the commercial side of things, mm -hmm. which I felt that I was lacking a little when I was working kind of agency side. A lot of the work I was doing was obviously deliverables, but I had the opportunity to obviously increase my client services and commercial skills, cool. which I then was able to then take to in-house. And obviously, yeah, a lot of people kind of think that in-house, you're not going to be dealing with other businesses, other brands. But if you're a business that really seems to gel and succeed in terms of partnerships in particular, that's where you're going to have to kind of get that understanding.